lovely people out and welcome back to Yoga with Kate. I hope you're all fit and well. Namaste to you all. Welcome to day 17 of Yoganary. Thank you very much if you've kept up so far. If you have missed any of the previous class, I'll drop a link over here to the Yoganary playlist. So day 17 is going to be pelvic floor muscles. I've had a couple of requests from my lovely subscribers for this. So be working on our pelvic floor and nothing more today. Right, without further ado, let's get started. Right, so lying down in Shavasana, flat on your mat, if you can just tuck your chin into your chest for me, pop your head down on your mat just to ensure your spine and necks are nice and long. So just warming our bodies up with some simple pranayama breathing, as always inhaling, exhaling through our nostrils. On the inhalation, your stomach should rise, and on the exhalation, your stomach should lower, just to ensure using a full lung capacity. So counting you in. Inhaling on one, on two, on three, on four, on five. Exhaling on one, on two, on three, on four, on five. Inhaling on one, on two, on three, on four, on five. Exhaling on one, on two, on three, on four, on five. Inhaling on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six. Exhaling on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six. So as always, we we'll stay with that breath out throughout our practice. No holding your breath in yoga. Bring some gentle movement back to your body now, wiggling fingers and toes. Gently turning those feet out and in, just rocking those feet all the way from those hip sockets, everything lovely and relaxed. Gently rolling the arms, wrist, hands, gently by your body. And lastly, we're just gently turning the head from side to side. First of our stretches now, we're just inhaling the arms by the head, really big stretch in the wings and toes. Stretch, 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 for a nice stretch going on those abdominal muscles. And then exhale the arms down by your side. We're doing that one more time. Really big stretch in the wings and toes. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Then exhale the arms down by your side. So we're interlinking those fingers, we're just pulling the right knee in towards the chest. We're going straight into working on these pelvic floor exercises. So we're gonna inhale our nose up to touch the knee. Now, before we do any more here, I want you to really focus on your pelvic floor. So all the muscles from your abdominal area up to your tummy, I want you to squeeze them in. Feel how they feel. When you've got them squeezed in, you should feel that your head goes up towards your knee. And then we're taking that left leg off the mat shoulders down away from those ears so suck everything in staying there for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 relax down we're dropping the right leg down to the mat we're now bringing the left knee into the chest interlinking those fingers below the left knee Yet again, have a mindful practice. Think about your abdominal muscles, your pelvic floor muscles. Pull them in as you come up towards the left knee. Taking the right leg off the mat. So shoulders down. Really squeeze in. You'll notice you get your nose up past the knee. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. One more done and relax back down. So we're going to bring both the knees into the chest now. And all I want you to do is pull your nose up towards the knee. Shoulders down away from those ears. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. One more done. Relax your body back down, but keep your legs where they are. Okay, so yet again, I know you'll be feeling in that area if you're doing it correctly now. So yet again, sucking that tummy in nice and tight, working the pelvic floor muscles once more. We're coming up and then we're reaching the hands, arms forward. Now pull those knees into your nose. Should be feeling it working for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. One more done, I'll be kind. Pop those legs back down on your mat. Okay, bridge pose in yoga is phenomenal for the pelvic floor muscles. So we're gonna bring those heels in towards our buttocks, knees pointing elbows towards ceiling, feet just hip distance apart. So it's slightly different to normal. We're gonna keep our hands where they are because we're going to do a few rounds of these. So we're gonna push the feet into the mat, pushing the bottom tailbone up towards the ceiling. Yet again, once you're up there, squeeze those muscles in, pull, pull your buttocks in nice and tight. I want you to really feel that you're nice and tight all around around this area. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, up an inch, four, three, two, one, and lower down. Well done, and stay there for a moment. We're going to do one more of those. So when you're ready, really pushing the feet against the mat yet again, make sure you're actually engaging those muscles. Pull your bottom in tight, everything abdominally, pull it in. Nice deep breaths for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, up an inch, four, three, two, one, and lower down. This time we're going to bring the knees into the chest for a little hug, but just for a little relaxation and gently rocking from side to side. Well done. Okay, so when you're ready, up we come to seated. Take hold of the fleshy part of your bottom and pull it back. So working on a reverse plank, it's fantastic for the arms, but yet again for the pelvic floor. Now it doesn't matter if you just get your bottom two inches off your mat, okay? It's all about working the muscles correctly. So yet again, I want you to really focus on pulling in your pelvic floor area nice and tight. So we're coming on up, working those feet flat down to the wall, then really suck those muscles in, looking forward or dropping your head back. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, up an inch, four, three, two, one, lower your bottom down. We're gonna lean forward and down over those legs, head hanging, arms hanging, head and neck, gentle shake from side to side. So nice and slowly, we're just uncurling. We build the spine, give those shoulder blades a lovely roll, back and down. So we're going into our lovely cat and cow stretches, fantastic for the pelvic floor. Hands are underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Yet again, I know we do a lot of cat and cows, but focus on those muscles. You want them working, you want them engaged. So starting with our cat first, so tucking your bottom under, head under, chin under, pushing your hands against the mat, then yet again, squeeze those muscles in. Make sure they're working. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and into our cow stretch. So bottom up, head up, chin up. Yet again, squeeze those buttocks up to the ceiling for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, another cat stretch. So bottom under, head under, chin under. Yet again, make sure you're engaging those muscles for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, another cow stretch, bottom up, head up, chin up, the ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring your spine back to neutral, we're going straight into our pointers, fantastic for our core, pelvic floor muscles, so we're taking the right arm, left leg up, right arm, left leg up, staying there, the ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, swapping on over. So it's left arm, right leg, left arm, right leg for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one more on each side. Keep going, right arm, left leg. Think about those muscles, make sure they're working for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, swapping over, left arm, right leg, last one of these, I promise, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, well done. We're gonna take the knees nice and wide on our mat. Sink our bottom down in between the heels, arms out in front, forehead resting on your hands or your mat, and just stay there. Nice deep breaths. Okay, so we're going to bring our body weight forward onto the elbows, bring our knees together, and just have a little rest in child's pose for a moment. Okay, so pull your tummy in once more. We're just uncurling. We build that spine vertebra by vertebra. Up we come. Once we're up to seated, give those shoulders a lovely roll. Back and down. Now from here, I'm going to take our knees a little bit further apart. Okay, we're walking the hands back. So the hands are behind those feet and we're simply pushing our bottom off the heels. So yet again, you should be feeling that stretch, lovely stretch, pull those tummy muscles in. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower down, well done. Okay, we're coming up to standing now. 
So we're taking to our legs into a lovely wide triangle. Feet are parallel facing forward. We're locking back those knees, simply grabbing hold of opposite elbows here. Push your bottom tailbone out behind you. And we're simply dropping forward and down, forward and down. Now, if you can here, you're shifting your weight forward onto the toes. Push your bottom tailbone up to a ceiling. And we should feel a deep stretch down the back of those buttocks. Yet again, think about those pelvic floor muscles. Squeeze them in. So from your bottom right up towards your tummy, make sure it's engaged. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two one well done now we're popping the hands to the mat so you've got two options here so we're going to go into the full um full squat in a moment if you can't do that bring the feet in you're dropping your bottom down arms over the thighs palms towards the floor if you can you're walking those feet in a little bit closer sinking your bottom all the way down to the mat pushing the elbows against the insides of those calves now relax your bottom down to the floor but still think about the pelvic floor pull it in nice and tight dropping your nose down towards your hands so your head and neck's nice and relaxed staying there for 10 nine eight seven six five four three two one now pull those tummy muscles in and up you come well done chair pose is fantastic for the pelvic floor as well so we can take our feet hip distance apart so this time we're raising the arms up towards the ceiling but keep your shoulders relaxed down away from those ears to pushing your bottom out behind chin out in front now sink on down into those hips now really feel what's going on so squeeze your bottom here your abdominal muscles pull it in nice and tight staying there for 10 9 8 7 6 five four three two one up you come just for a couple of breaths doing one more of those so coming on down once more bottom out behind chin out in front for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one up you come down and lower those arms we're going to our lovely warrior two now. So we're stepping our right foot out to the right. Heel is back on the left foot. Okay, we want a little bit of a pivot going on, on that left foot. And then we want to bend our right knee. Now always do a toe check. Make sure you can see your toes on your foot when your knee is bent. Now our tummies, our hips, we want to bring to centre. We're taking the right arm out to the right, left arm out to the left. Now really think about your feet here. Squash them into the mat. You should be feeling a nice stretch going on in the front of your tummy here. And you're looking down the middle finger on your right hand staying there for tap nine eight seven six five four three two one we're straightening that right leg we're pivoting around what those toes out a little bit further yet again sinking on down nice right angle on this left knee looking down the middle finger squash those feet into the mat make sure it's feeling it across the front of your tummy for tap nine eight seven six five four three two one well done up you come last one of these postures for pelvic floor we're dropping down to the knees and we're coming up into our lovely downward facing dog so hands are underneath those shoulders tucking your toes under bottom up towards the ceiling and just stay there shoulders down away from those ears think about the weight distribution on your hands should be through the palms and those fingers and then once you're here working those heels down to the mat pushing your bottom tailbone up towards the ceiling nice deep breaths you should feel your tummy naturally pulling in nice and slowly down the bottom right of those abdominal muscles nice deep breaths Just staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done, bring your weight forward. We're dropping down into child's pose. While we finish the class, forehead on your hands or your mat and just stay there. So nice and slowly, we're just uncurling. We build that spine, pull your tummy in as you come up and give those shoulders a lovely roll back and down. 
So thank you very much for joining me for day 17 of Yoganery. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please drop me a comment down below and let me know how you got on. And as always, if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd greatly appreciate it if you did. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care of yourselves. Om Shanti, which is peace.